The Kavango East Region Education Director says incidents of bullying teachers and other learners have become common in schools in the region. Learners who fight teachers must be expelled. I support that. And I'm saying, even if not to disturb or to fight teachers, if they misbehave, they must also be expelled. If they are caught drinking or smoking, whatever they smoke, this thing may not even reach the head office. I will fire you. Regarding the donation of mattresses, Kapapero thanked Epupa Investment for its contribution to education, which Epupa Investment Chief Executive Officer said his company was happy to do so. As a corporate citizen, we saw it fit to also play our little humble small part towards the government's poverty eradication efforts. Hostel Superintendent Vigbert Kandunda welcomed the gesture, explaining that learners have been using the old mattresses for about 10 years now. Some of the learners, he says, sleep on iron beds without mattresses. The beds are really also in a bad shape, but then we are trying with the little money that we are getting from Hostel Development Fund, we are trying to weld the beds, which is a bit cheaper for us. But as for the mattresses, we are finding it very, very difficult to afford to buy mattresses because the, the quality that is needed for a learner to sleep on in a government school, uh, the price is very exorbitant. As, as a school, we cannot, we cannot afford. More than 500 learners live in the school hostel at the Maria Mwengere Secondary School. Therefore, the 76 mattresses donated are just a drop in the ocean. One of the school's concerns is the late delivery of cleaning detergents and other material, but which comes once a year. Maria Mwengere is one of the biggest schools in the region with about 1,300 learners. Chris Kupulo, NBC News, Kaingona Village.